Hi there. My name is Ashley Moretti. I'm the Curator of Collections and Exhibitions for the Erie Canal Museum in downtown Syracuse, New York. I'm here today to introduce and discuss one of our exhibits that you can view on our website. Our museum is currently closed to the public in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and in keeping to New York State's guidelines for non-essential businesses. This is obviously really difficult for all of us because under normal circumstances, the museum is only closed five days a year. We've canceled or postponed all of our in-person programs and events. So even though the museum is closed, we are still working from home. We're putting together information, educational programming, and future exhibits for you. And we're doing fun and engaging programs via our website and our social media pages. The reason this video exists is because of this. So if you enjoy it, we would be grateful to you if you would become a member of the Erie Canal Museum or make a tax deductible donation to our annual fund. We are losing vital revenue by being closed and so are a lot of other museums and cultural institutions. This is a difficult time for all of us. So if you appreciate the work that your museum does, including us, please contribute. Thank you very much in advance. I'll put some links in the comment section for this video so you can support the Erie Canal Museum and the work that we are doing. So the exhibit I'd like to tell you about today is called High Hopes, Immigration and the Erie Canal. It was originally shown in the museum's second floor Waylock Gallery back in the fall of 2018. The history of the original and enlarged Erie Canal is very strongly tied to the history of immigration in America. And in this exhibit, I told the story of new arrivals to the United States and how they traveled on and helped to construct the Erie Canal and contributed to the growth of cities and towns along the canal. Many of these immigrants also ended up settling in the interior of the country, and they got there by way of the canal. I've talked to a lot of visitors to our museum who have visited from the upper Midwest, states like Wisconsin and Michigan and Illinois. Their ancestors traveled on the Erie Canal. So High Hopes traces the history of canal-based immigration, starting with arrival in the United States. You probably have a picture in your mind of scores of people coming through Ellis Island in New York City, and they did. But not until after 1892, when Ellis Island replaced Castle Garden as the emigrant landing depot. So let's run this history down a little bit. Before the year 1855, there was no set established location for new immigrants to be processed. They arrived at major port cities on both coasts, including New York City. In 1855, Castle Garden on the western tip of Manhattan was established as the first official processing center. Ellis Island came a little later, as you now know. High Hopes covers the role of immigrants in the creation, maintenance, and enlargement of New York's canals and their experience traveling via canals. The museum's replica line boat, the Frank Buchanan Thompson, is an example of the kind of boat that many immigrants travel on. It was not a fast or luxurious way to travel, but it was inexpensive and it carried passengers and their luggage to their new life. High Hopes also discusses the work that new immigrants did once they were settled in cities like Syracuse, Utica, and Buffalo. These are all cities that have a large immigrant population because of the Erie Canal. Uh, this work included farming and factory work. The largest groups came from countries like Italy, Germany, and Ireland. And in the exhibit, I give some history of these people and, note, and spotlight a few notable new arrivals to the United States. So go check out High Hopes, Immigration in the Erie Canal. I will link you to it below. Even though we're all stuck inside, there's still a lot of Erie Canal history to learn. Like I said earlier, the Erie Canal Museum is closed to the public currently due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Please consider supporting the museum during this difficult time if you can. Thank you very much for watching and please stay safe and healthy.